back to Off the Clock. I'm actually so excited to do this segment because you all have found out over time that I really like Harry Potter. In the middle of an episode last week, my phone went off. You all learned that the Harry Potter uh, soundtrack is my ringtone. So I <laughs> really exposed myself there. But it has been many, many years since I was on Pottermore taking Harry Potter quizzes, so I felt like it was only right that I do an update. I am now on the official wizardingworld.com website. We have a sorting hat quiz, a Patronus quiz, and a wand quiz to simulate being at Ollivander's, so I am very excited. I only ever did the house um, test back on Pottermore, and I think I was, I think we determined on a live stream the other day that I am Gryffindor, even though it is such a weird thing to be like, oh, I'm Gryffindor, because you know, it's Harry Potter and Ron and Hermione and everybody wants to be Gryffindor, but I do feel like it lines up for me. But years before that, when I was in maybe fourth grade, right after I read the books for the first time, I did a quiz and it said I was Hufflepuff. I don't think I'm social and bubbly enough to be a Hufflepuff, so I don't really know. So we're going to get the answer for sure today. This is what's happening. So let's go ahead and start. I'm going to go ahead here. Get sorted now. Okay, I will. Thank you. Choose one to continue. Mm. I like the moon. Okay. A troll has gone berserk in the headmaster study at Hogwarts. It is about to smash, crush, and tear several irreplaceable items and treasures. In which order would you rescue these objects from the troll's club if you could? A nearly perfected cure for dragon pox. Oh, wait, they don't show me the other ones. Maybe I can later. Mm. They too. Okay, can I move them around? Student records going back to a thousand years. Okay, that one, I guess. A mysterious handwritten book full of strange runes. Okay, reorder items. Okay, first, a mysterious handwritten book full of strange runes, then a nearly perfected cure for dragon pox. Finally, student records going back 1,000 years. Um... Mm. kind of want how do I reorder reorder oh uh oh hello is it bad that I want the cure last maybe mm, but it kind of seems like a big deal oh god I don't know reorder reorder okay this one's gonna go uh... okay no that one this one, this one. Because you never know what's going to be in the handwritten book. I just, okay, I'm doing that. Okay. Which would you rather be? Liked, trusted, feared, envied, intimidated, or praised? Um, um, okay, not envied. Intimidated like I would be intimidated or I would intimidate other people? Not praise. I don't need to get praise. Um, I mean, I don't really care about being liked. Maybe trusted. Okay. If you're attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? Uh, definitely not an owl because I don't like birds. Uh, toad, slimy, so definitely a cat. Ginger cat, white cat, Siamese cat, tabby cat. Black cat. I want the fluffiest one. That one's pretty fluffy. I like it. After you have died, what would you most like people to do when they hear your name? Ask for more stories about your adventures. Miss you, but smile. Uh, think with admiration of your achievements. Uh, I don't care what people think of me after I'm dead. It's what they think of me while I'm alive that counts. Mm, kind of that. But also maybe achievements. Mm. Um, probably that. All right. You and your two friends need to cross a bridge guarded by a river troll who insists on fighting uh, one of you before he will let all of you pass. Do you, let's see, um, volunteer to fight, attempt to confuse the troll into letting all three of you pass without fighting, suggest that all three of you fight without telling the troll, suggest drawing lots to decide which of you will fight. Um... Uh, 
maybe that one confusing the troll heads okay oh all right let's see the sorting hat is ready to make its decision oh my god slytherin slytherin okay Pride, ambition, and cunning. I mean, I do have a lot of pride, and I am ambitious, so, okay. Probably know that some Slytherins, some of Slytherin's most renowned members include Severus Snape and Bellatrix Lestrange, but did you know that Merlin himself was a Slytherin, and that according to legend, the ribbon of a first-class order of Merlin is green to reflect his Hogwarts house? Um, fellow Slytherins love that. Okay. Interesting. I've never, I don't think I've ever gotten Slytherin before. But I feel like as I've grown up, maybe, probably maybe like Slytherin or Gryffindor. Who knows? I'm not mad about it. I've never had anything against Slytherin. Um, I feel like I'm more, I don't want to say that I'm bubbly, but I think I'm maybe somewhat happier than some Slytherins. But again, we only saw how some specific Slytherins were portrayed in the books. Um, so I don't know. Maybe that's just my perception. Maybe I don't know enough about the Slytherin house. But yeah, I don't know. I'm okay. I'm happy with that. You guys can let me know in the comments. All right, let's do my Patronus. Do, do, do. I wonder, is Pottermore still a thing? I, oh gosh. It's making sounds. Oh, look, it says Pottermore. I loved Pottermore. I never got to play video games, but the video games that I did, video games I did play were all the Pottermore games and then American Girl Doll had <laughs> video games and I was allowed computer time on my dad's big work PC that I was allowed to play on. This is cool. All right. Questions are timed. Go with your instincts. Okay. This one's cool. Relax. Think of your happiest memory. Okay, this is sick. Uh, protect. Um... I like this. This is super cool. Uh, under. It's trying to form. Oh my god, it's happening. I want this all the time when I move my cursor. Oh. Click and drag click, drag and release. Scriptures. Oh my god, it's a bird. It's a pheasant. Now that is Irony. How did I end up with a bird Patronus when I'm terrified of birds? This has just been a very weird experience. I'm not a Gryffindor. I have a bird as a Patronus. Well, maybe now this is my sign that I need to like birds because my bird, my pheasant, is here to be my guardian. All right, goodbye, pheasant. Goodbye. I'm returning to my profile now. We have one last one to do. Wand. Maybe this will also be out of the ordinary. All right, the Harry Potter, here you go, Brett Cooper, her pheasant. This is crazy. Oh, wait, now we have some information about it. What does your Patronus say about you? I want to know that. Where is the pheasant? Um, okay, dolphin, cat, no, St. Why couldn't I have gotten a St. Bernard? I want a St. Bernard. Um, okay, unicorn, so we owl, stag. There's even a ragdoll cat. Those are super cute. Pheasant isn't even in the top 20. Does that mean I'm super special? <laughs> what does a pheasant mean? 
Does that mean you're super strange and Brett, we hate you and we know that you're terrified of birds? I wonder if I can just Google it. Pheasant. Okay, here we go. Muggle net. Pheasants are noble birds known for their beautiful plumage. They are regal and often symbolize virtue and refinement. Okay, here we go. They are regal and often symbolize virtue and refinement. Unlike peacocks, they make no show of their feathers, but hold themselves to a high standard of etiquette. In all situations, they can be a bit proud, which might lead to trouble, but deep down, they are greatly... Oh, they care greatly for family and comfort. I mean, actually, that's not wrong. So maybe they got it right. Who knows? So I'm not angry about that. Good job, Wizarding World. All right, last one. Wand, here we go. The official wand ceremony. This better have some cool graphics, too. I liked the Patronus one. Um, would you describe yourself as, I mean, like, tall for a girl, I guess, sort of? And your eyes are hazel. Uh, the fact that you had to, like, think about that, even number. Pride yourself most on probably Brazilians. Traveling alone down a deserted road, you reach a crossroads. Do you continue left towards the sea, right towards the castle, ahead towards the forest? Mm, probably towards the castle. Do you most fear fire, small spaces, darkness, isolation, or heights? Definitely isolation. In a chest of magical artifacts, which would you choose? Silver dagger, golden key, dusty bottle, ornate mirror, glittering jewel, black glove, or a bound scroll? Mmm. Maybe a dagger. That sounds cool. Here we go. What is it? No, no, definitely not. Laurel wood with a phoenix core, 13 inch and rigid flexibility. Okay. Laurel wood. It is said that a laurel wood wand cannot perform a dishonorable act. Although in the quest for glory, a not uncommon goal for those best suited to these wands, I have known laurel wands to perform powerful and sometimes lethal magic. Laurel wands are sometimes called fickle, but this is unfair. The laurel wand seems unable to tolerate laziness in a possessor, and it is in such conditions that it is most easily and willingly won away. Otherwise, it will cleave happily to its first match forever, and indeed has the unusual and engaging attribute of issuing a spontaneous lightning strike if another witch or wizard attempts to seal it. That's cool. I mean, that's very positive. I like it. They do not tolerate laziness. I don't tolerate laziness. I hate lazy people. Um, let's see. That's basically all that tells me. That's very cool. I'm happy with that. I will say the house thing has still stumped me. I'm not angry about it, but literally every time I've taken one of these tests, I get something different. So I don't really know. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm so unique. What is it? You know, all those people that are like, oh, you just can't box me. And it's sort of like the whole gender and sexuality fluidity, whatever. I'm guys, I'm just so fluid. I'm, I'm Harry Potter house fluid. You cannot box me in. I'm non-binary when it comes to Harry Potter houses. No, I don't know. Uh, but let me know your houses in the comments. And if you think that any of these quizzes got it wrong, let me know. Or if there are other quizzes that I should take in the Harry Potter metaverse, let me know. Because as you know, I am obsessed. And I will take any opportunity to dive deeper into this fandom. Thank you very much. And no, I have still not watched Star Wars, but I'm getting around to it. And then I can do those kinds of quizzes. I promise. Before you go, make sure that you like this video if you have not already. Subscribe to this channel and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a single comment section or off the clock episode. We are putting out new content every day, sometimes twice a day, and even on weekends now. And I don't want you to miss a thing.